Digital news has to be shareable. You, you're not, most people are not going to go to a destination to consume the content or consume the news. They want to consume it where they are. So if they're on Facebook or if they're following people on Twitter, they, you know, so, or whatever other social network, um, people want to be able to have access to the content right there. Uh, the content needs to be uh, appropriate, uh, so whatever they like. But it also needs to be um, um, uh, constructed or, or published in such a way that is appropriate for your device. So if you're on a mobile device, which is very soon going to be really the preferred mode of accessing any kind of information is mobile, uh, then that content can't be really long forms. You, no one's going to really read a book on a, on, on, a, on a phone. Some people do, I know, and people do it on the tablet, but not on the phone. So the, you know, the content of choice for a small screen is video, and it's got to be short, and you've got to learn how to tell stories. Um, in uh, 60 seconds or 90 seconds at the most. We observed that there was no um, pure mobile video breaking news uh, company. Everything that you see on the mobile device is repurposed from um, other platforms, the web or TV or other platforms. So with now this news, we're creating video that is done purely for the mobile device. Uh, also, um, most of the people who use a mobile device to access content tend to be younger. They're millennials, people in their 20s, early 30s. So you've got to create content that will uh, attract them, uh, that they'll fall in love with, and then want to come back in time. So you know, for other publishers, I think it's really difficult for brands that have established themselves in print or on TV uh, to suddenly become the brand that's going to be the desirable brand on a mobile device. Maybe they should start new brands. Maybe they should uh, have a different team. Um, you know, hire a bunch of young people and let them reinvent. Give them access to all the resources that you have as a media company, but don't try to repurpose and reutilize what you're doing in other platforms for the mobile for the mobile platform. Here at Digitas, there's a lot of discussion about branded content, native advertising, and uh, tell us sort of what that means to now this news and Buzzfeed in broad strokes. Well, what it means is that suddenly there is a, a way for brands uh, to tell a story that will be captivating, that will be humorous, you know, exactly what they do on television. The reason why TV is still the destination of choice for advertising is because you can tell a story. And uh, we all, I, in fact, most people in the, you know, like TV advertising. It's kind of fun and you know, interesting. And you can't do this in a banner ad. You can't do this in a static kind of like whatever, you know, size, IAB size ad. But you can do this uh, with uh, sponsored content, with, you know, native or di you know, digital content. And that's what BuzzFeed does, you know, really better than anybody else today, uh, is that, it, you know, it's able to tell stories. These, these, these ads or this sponsored content um, really performs uh, really in a superior fashion. People love them, they click on them, they share them, uh, they comment, you know, they pass them around, and you don't see this happening in banners. The desirable consumers, you know, the famous 20-year-olds uh, and 30-year-olds uh, live in the digital world. That's where you're going to get them. They, they typically don't live on television, they don't live in print, uh, they live in the, di the technology digital world. So in order to reach them in that world, you have to, you can't expect them to come to you, you have to go to them as a marketer. So in order for you to reach them in that world, you, are, you have to be a technology user, a big technology user. And I mentioned in my presentation at the Digitized New Front um, that by 2017, CMOs are going to be buying more technology than CIOs. Now just think about that. That's a staggering fact. Uh, and yet how many marketers are really ready to be buyers of technology? Not that many, but that's what they have to do. So trust me, I totally believe in sharing, in social, in real time. But I also believe that we need to keep adding value to our readers.